Hello and welcome to the show. Our grid of cars is very excited to go racing. Someone's managed to ride over. Well done. The race is starting at one minute. You might want to get your vehicle back on its wheels. Brilliant. It's an excellent start to a GTA 5 race. Uh, the <laughs> oh, that's apparently not a handbrake. My bad. Uh <laughs> right. Um, let's let's get off and underway. We've got cars starting lopsided. There are cars all over the place. Well, it's a suitably foul racy start to our race. Yes, we are going to do well. Two parts, two races, if you like. This designed as oh, this is going to go really badly wrong. Impega, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, physics ball has got very angry with all of us. <laughs> The initial lap, my car landed the right way up as well. Initially, it was fine. Like, the initial landing on the top of Impega's very pink muscle car was okay. It was then a car tumbling and rolling out of control that landed on us that started everything going very badly wrong. Anyway, uh, this is a kind of sequel, if you like, to the original mad stunt race with the camper vans, with the journeys. Uh, well, we've got, uh, you can see what we're coming up to <laughs> over there. Oh, that white car's in a lot of trouble. However, there are two races. We thought we'd have a go with Sabre Turbos as well, the lowrider version of the car. I don't know why we've suddenly twisted wildly out of control. How the bloody hell did I survive that? There is not a hope in hell that I should... <laughs> So, we have gone from the most amazing stunt of the... Well, we've gone from a terrible start to perhaps the most amazing stunt I've ever done in GTA 5. We've already been racing for, well, a minute and a half-ish. I mean, that's an impressive collection of events. Something's on soaring off, uh, heading around the loop. In general, with these kind of large, large loops, I want to just keep my car in the middle of the road. You really want to keep the car in the middle of the road. Uh, oh, there we go. Bounced it off the wall as... Uh, oh, nearly ended up in the back of something there. Uh, that's going to be an awkward landing. Come on. Come on. No. Eventually, we'll stop rolling. And all of the positions were gone. Uh, yeah, the big loops, I tend to keep, try and keep the car in the middle of the road. Reason being that uh, with the incredible angles and so on that we're going at, you bounce across the curb and you get a tiny little bit airborne. It's very, very easy to suddenly find yourself uh, completely out of control and soaring off the map. Not something that you really want to have happen to you. Not, not something you really want to have happen whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah, we will tend to stick to the middle of the road as best we can. Oh, there's the leaders. They look like they're having a good fun race. Uh, we're going to have the fight for, I mean, maybe... I don't know. Fifth, I guess, is probably as far up as we might potentially go. There is catch-up. There is slipstream if we can have a clean run. If we can not have our vehicle... Whoa! Big oversteer moment as I panicked and tried to avoid another car having a crash. <laughs> oh, it's about to get crowded back here. <laughs> It's about to get very crowded back here. At least they're three wide behind me. You know what? If we're going to have an epic race, at least, you know, it might only be over the eighth place. That doesn't bother me. At least, oh, at least let there be an epic race. Or we can all go fall, falling off the map. I don't actually know where the last checkpoint was. So I figured I'll probably be better to uh, just drive back around here. Yeah, I knew there was a lamppost in the middle. I might have actually got a little bit... Uh, too close to the, uh, yeah, I might take a bit too tight or uh, too wider a line. Sorry, with a little bit too much speed and understeered my way off. It wasn't helped by other shenanigans. Well, it's not going to be a fight for eighth anymore. Before it, it's not gone very well. Just put, putting that out there, it's not gone very well. We do have two more laps. We have two more laps to learn. This is like a learning stage. A Sabre Turbo low ride is definitely the perfect vehicle to learn a track when you're going to be racing in fans in a minute. I see nothing wrong with any of that whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> just we'll just wait. Oh, that's too much speed. That was too much speed through the first quarter for for the purple car. Right now, let's not explode down here again. Of course, the advantage we have of being so far back is we are unlikely to have too much in the way of company. Instead, what we're going to do is have apparently the saber spaz out uncontrollably. I mean, this is worse than the... Oh, come on, I don't want to look at the black screen. <laughs> I want to be driving. We are uh, strong dead last, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> apparently, this car's suspect... Well, I mean, it is a low rider, but still, there is a 50-50 chance of any landing that you might suddenly spear off at a random direction at a random speed. 
It's worse than the, stun the, the races versus the snipers ones that we've done with the various cars, where every so often a sniper takes out your tyres and your car just veers. This is just full on, full on madness uh, with what on earth is going to happen. You see, that time there we were perfectly across the uh, across the boost pads and fire 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 go we go we go for stunts back here oh no i've i've not i've, I've balls that one up very very badly um i only pressed forward on the stick why are you doing this hey <laughs> know what went on there. I went, I went for doing a front flip. I must have pressed forward in a slight diagonal. Oops. Uh, do I get bonus points for style? I'm gonna need them. Let's be honest here. Like for every style point I, I accrue, can I have like time taken off my finish time? I mean that would be an interesting, interesting game mode. Do you go for outright racing or do you go for uh, as many style points as you can to make your time shorter. Uh, that one there was not very stylish. That one's just what happened. In fact, <laughs> car ahead. Do that. We are so far behind. Not helped by the unfortunate, uh, uh, unfortunate well screwing over of us on the run down the hill. Uh, but you know, what 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 can you do? And best bet uh, is to not. Come. This is the fight for not last. Now this is what it is. It's the fight for not last. Oh. Well, tried to squeeze. We'll actually still get that one worked around the outside. So five for not last. Actually, I think there might be someone behind us. Yeah, there is. Okay, so we're not quite. It's just not quite. It's not quite the fight for not last. It's the fight for not not last. Yeah. I think you do you follow the train 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 of thought. We are a long way back. I feel like we need some Mario power ups. Can I get a star or the, the bullet bill or? Maybe I can just actually get a supercar. <laughs> like, depending on what position you are in will determine what car you have to drive. I would like a supercar, please. Uh, prefer actually, maybe go for like a, something off-road racing style so we can deal with the bumps and not get thrown around by that, but still have plenty of plenty of grip. Right, mind the lamppost. There we go, hit the boost pad. We might actually get a good view of the cars as they come across that jump. Hey, there goes the leaders. Uh, <laughs> They are a very, very, very long way ahead of me. <laughs> right, shall we take our bets? Will I get very unlucky and my vehicle just ping off randomly into the scenery on the run down the hill? Uh, will we see anybody else for the remainder of this race? We seem to have managed to pull away from the car behind. I'm not quite sure how I've done that. Unless they managed to break their car in a peculiar manner. I mean, we've got a long way to go to the vehicle ahead. Like a long, long way to go to the like a minute ahead. I don't, I don't think that's quite right. I mean, we are a fair way back. I'm not sure we're quite that far back. Well, let's see. Will any weirdness occur right here? Nope, absolutely fine that time. Maybe if I put the suspension up while... You don't have the suspension up for any length of time. You'll go slower uh, with the suspension raised if you like but perhaps putting it up for the landings might not be a terrible idea uh, there is a vehicle up here that has had a bad time oh let's not make it us we found a car so those that betted i wasn't going to see oh well we've pissed that one up i think please don't go on that track please don't go on that track please don't go on that track please land before the hat track please don't go on the track please don't go on the track oh <laughs> I think me actually tipping the car saved me there. I, I, I could see that one coming, and I was praying that that was going to be enough. It might not. It might have. It might have been an end cost me. I felt like it was a worthwhile endeavour. Oh god, yeah. Let's catch up to a car while running around a big, big loop. I don't think we're actually going to get the slipstream from back here. Now, we did this pretty okay on the first run through here. I think getting the uh, getting the transition right. Uh, yeah, that one there worked out pretty well, although it did work out for the car ahead. I think I spotted an offensive Bloomobile. I think I spotted that offensive Bloomobile. We've not got the dismount there correct, though. It's not the worst we've done. I was trying to run a, <laughs> I was trying to find a smoother way down. I felt like just smashing it into the floor wasn't a good way to go, but I was incorrect. Smash the car into the floor is the correct way through that, uh, through that little section. Well, I'm hoping all of these little techniques will come in useful. I'm hoping all of the little techniques are going to come in useful for when we drive the the camper van. The big sort of off-the-loop section is going to be something we have to slow down for. The Sabres you can get away with running the... you can get away with twisting the cars to run the uh, run the wall. Uh, if you go flat out in the camper vans into that, you have a big front flip, apparently. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
Yeah, we will have to be breaking for that. Everywhere else, I'm, am I ready to race a camper van around here? I mean, as the general rule of fail race states, you have one bad race followed by one good race. So I've had the bad race. Perhaps with the campers, we can have, fingers crossed, the good race. Well, here we are. The journeys are ready. I am starting fairly high up the grid, but I'm not quite sure where. Uh, <laughs> what could... Actually, no, I'm fairly mid-pack. Ignore me. What could possibly... Oh, well, someone's slow off the line. I mean, they kind of got... How have you... You know what? Let's not ask. Uh, <laughs> let's try and not murder everything as we go around these opening corners. I really want to be as far away from everybody as I possibly can, if I am honest with you. Uh, we're going to get landed on. We're going to get landed on. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's, got, that's very not fine for somebody. They didn't... Oh, they did explode. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, this is a mega, mega slipstream now. We've got a huge amount of speed. I'm in a camp of... Oh, someone's got more speed than me. There's a lot of sudden speeds going on. <laughs> there are just... There are vehicles, and there are vehicles in all sorts of angles, and all sorts of peculiar things, and who knows what's going to happen here. It could go literally any way. Uh, we got away with it. In fact, we're three wide heading onto the loop. That's probably quite dangerous. These are a little bit wobbly. <laughs> no, I don't want to go in the slipstream. I don't want to go in the slipstream. I really don't want to be here at all. Uh, now, this is... Whoa, Christ. Ah, oh, we've got... Oh, I'm really sorry. I don't want to be crashing into you guys. I'm going to go on the brakes. Purple's not got on the brakes. Purple's fallen over massively. Everyone's fallen over massively except for me. What is this? Is how very unfair... <laughs> Somehow we've got, how has purple got away with that? We're three, <laughs> three wide on the exit of the tube, despite all of us falling over to different degrees at different speeds. How the bloody hell have we got away with that? You know what? I could have bet a million pounds we would never have survived three wide around the loop and been three wide on the exit tube. I would have bet many millions of pounds, but there we go. Good thing I am not a betting person. It's a very good thing. That'd be very silly. Uh, <laughs> I'd, buy, I'd buy cars rather than do any better. Either way, you know, um, the things who somehow, somehow we're alive. <laughs> if we can do this for three laps without any of us having an unfortunate and spectacular death, I will be quite impressed. Uh, the slipstream, I'll be honest, not having a great effect on me. We're going to go three wide again. Yes! It's the three wide in journeys. Little did we know the greatest race. Who needs Formula One? Who needs Formula One when an old beat up camper van and a silly stunt course can get you far better overtaking? Oh, we have to be... I don't know if someone's going to fire up the inside or not there. No! No, I've been bested by a lamppost. Oh, I have been bested entirely by a lamppost. God damn it. I was going wide already. I just didn't need a lamppost landing on my head. For good luck. That really does not help matters. Um, right, shall we slipstream train? Of course, there is going to be catch-up. And in the journey, when there's a lot of straight lines as well around here, you're going to notice, especially if the leader, the lead pair, if you like, are going to go side by side. That should theoretically help me. Of course, the boost pad, those are going to speed us up here quite nicely. Is it Bamba close enough to get slipstream? I hope so, because if they can get some slipstream, they can go soaring past and they can hopefully pull us towards this next group. Uh, here we go. We are catching. It's going to be a four, a four camper battle for the lead. Here we come. We are. We have arrived at the group with a big. Well, with, hopefully with a big slipstream pull. We're going to go three wide into turn one. Maybe we'll go four wide. Jeez. Okay, no, we're going to go four wide. We got a big slipstream pull. I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure who. I'm not sure who got connected to who. Uh, there was a bot. There was definitely a bob. I don't, oh, I don't know if the black camper didn't realise the speed that was going up to the back of those or whether they just had the, that horrible front of vehicle connected to rear of vehicle connected uh, moments, which are very easy to do. Not as big of a jump in these, not as silly a landing in these, importantly. Uh, we're going to kind of gain position briefly and then they're going to gain position briefly. Are we side drafting in camper van? Well, sort of. I mean, it's GTA physics not really knowing who's in the lead and what to do in terms of the catch-up. 
Uh, it's probably not a good idea to be uh, bumping doors while airborne in, in camper vans. Nope, we're still going to go too wide. <laughs> it might be one of the silliest sights of fail race. Oh god, don't tackle in the air. Don't rugby tackle in the air. Oh, well, apparently physics has had enough of our shenanigans. Oh, come on. Uh, no, no, don't fall over. Don't fall over, you bugger. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I appreciate the, the waiting. <laughs> What's going on there? How have you managed that one? That I do not know. That I that I do not know as to quite what went on there. Ooh, oh, I'm on this side. That is one of the most terrifying things I think I've done in GTA 5. I'm pretty sure we're on two wheels heading around this loop. Uh, at various points, depending on what line on the loop you are at. You are out on, on two wheels and that is bloody terrifying that's way too much speed uh, I got away with it there was a lot of trying to slow down so we don't uh, make the roll worse actually we both got away with that quite well uh, I was the first time around I was a bit early on the brakes no you got to skid along on your side aren't you camper right it no physics well physics has had again had enough of my shenanigans once more uh, Oh, I think it's a spin up ahead as well. Quick, quick. Oh, hello, Reese. Ah, Reese, oh, is that back to a four vehicle battle for the for the victory? Well, we're back to going two by two, are we? That's okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> These things are not stable at all. It's three wide, three wide shenanigans. I'm going to get involved in this. We're going to go to the outside. We're going to sweep past two cars, or uh, well, two campers, and then slipstream on Reese. No, we're going to have to go, we're going to have to shoot the middle, I think, in all of this. We're back to being three wide again. In two laps around here, no, don't you bloody dare, Reese. Uh, <laughs> two laps around here, there's been more three wide action than in an entire Formula One, like an entire, entire Formula One season. I think a lamppost just beat Obamba as well. <laughs> These lampposts are mean. I mean, we've seen street furniture be mean in the past, but... These lampposts are really bloody mean to the poor the poor camper vans. Are we going for the uh, sneaky bugger shortcut route? Fine, I'll join in the sneaky bugger shortcut route. Oh, nope, let's not do this one. Right, so we learnt last time, don't be the bugger that gets stuck going out wide and almost, I say almost rolled by a, uh, by a lamppost. Be the bugger that will sit in a slipstream and probably goof it all up on the final lap. But at least we'd have had a fun, entertaining race up until the inevitable goof. I'm going to have a lot of speed, and I don't actually want to... Whoop, okay, that does get... Uh, I was really worried that that wasn't going to get knocked out of the way, and I've ended up not carrying enough speed. So, never mind. Actually, I'm fine with this, you know. We lost a bit of momentum coming up here, however, with the catch-up and with the inevitable slipstream that we will get. I'll come soaring back past. Uh, <laughs> Hello! Don't mind me. Oh no, now we've hit a wall of no, I guess, of no real gains anymore. We've just kind of, we're here now. There's bump drafting! The blue vehicles are working together! Oh, don't do another three wide moment. We did say we were going to go three or four wide into turn one last lap and things went a little bit awry. So, <laughs> now we actually get a chance to go three wide into turn one. Maybe even four wide. I'm going to go on the brakes early because that's going to be a gap that's going to close. And now we're going to go three wide on the exit. Try to sneak alongside I am gonna actually have a little bit of a lift because I, I'm playing it a little bit cautiously here I'm not like the white tr the white vehicle well yeah that might end badly for Reese it might also end a lot worse for them here we go big slipstream train for me through the pack we go I love the way the pack like changes lanes as soon as they see a lane going fast we've got some bump drafting going on here we go oh no physics why would you do that oh physics has got me as well no 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 across the building nope but <laughs> physics has had enough of that we've uh, we've done such an amazing race that physics doesn't quite know how to deal with it I think uh, like that that's uh that's an anticlimactic boost pad right there. That is a very anticlimactic boost pad. <laughs> the physics doesn't have a clue as to what to do with these camper vans. Are we going to go for stunt of the day? Perhaps. I, I think I've already got it sewn up for the Sabre. <laughs> the Sabre the saber stunts will win at stunt of the day for all days and every days. And that's a... Oh, camper! No, 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 no. I just want to turn. I just wanted to get, make the checkpoint. Apparently, we're not even going to get that luck anymore. Damn it. It was going so well. It was looking so promising and everything. 
don't fall over, please don't fall over, please don't fall over. Um, and then it, it one, one duff, well, two duff landings actually, one primary duff land. Like the initial bit was okay, the initial landing was fine, and then it just was no, nope, ping, and off to space we go with the camper. Uh, who knew campers around a stunt track was a dopey idea? Certainly not I. Uh, oh, no, 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 bugger, bugger, bugger. I almost got away with that level of speed. Oh, hello, Abamba. <laughs> Back to racing you, are, shall we? Shall this be the great battle for fifth? We were fighting for the lead at one point, but fifth shall have to be... <laughs> it's just the two-wheeled wobble antics. They're brilliant. I love two wheel. I love a good two-wheeled wobble antics. Oh no, I've lost all my momentum. Come back! I need some, I need that slipstream, please. No, 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 no. Come back. Where's that slipstream gone? I can hear it, I think. Either that or I've got a leak somewhere in the camper van. Could well be that. Right, but he's run very wide. We can... Oh, well, I was going to say we can try and get... No, we haven't really got the speed or the grip to do that. Ah, that's why I can hear the whooshing. We've got someone to do it. It might have a three-wide finish. It might only be over fifth. It might not be for the victory anymore. But you know what? It's still... Oh, it's still been a good race. It's still been an entertaining, silly, wacky race. Again, as ever. The sillier the vehicles, the better the racing. And once more... Well, this time it's GTA 5. Normally it's Forza proving it, but this time GTA 5 is proving... Uh, that we can go three wide in just about anything, just about everywhere, if we are so inclined. Oh, cheaty bugger route nearly led to me going for a tumble, which is uh, not ideal. Oh, Liam, you're very brave around there. Everybody breathe in, please. There were some involuntary panic noises. <laughs> oh, Stevie's coming. We're going to have a four camper van finish back here if we're not careful. I'm not sure if I actually want to lead this group up here. Because, uh, I'm not sure if uh, I want to be on the outside for this turn. Because we can't afford to miss the boost pads. Oh, this is going to be an interesting uh, interesting slipstream run to the line. Because we're, we're all getting boost pads that are picking us up speed. Abamba's got a good run. Uh, I've got a good run. I don't know where. That purple okay, the purple one's a little too far back. Will we be able to catch Liam before the finish line? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be pretty close. It's going to be pretty close because we're coming over the crest now. This is it. It's the drag race towards the finish line. Have we got the slipstream to do it? Have the boost pads kept him far enough away? He's trying to shake the toe. I think he might have done it. I think he's far enough away. I can't catch him, but I will fend off. We'll take a sixth. In a brilliantly mad, silly, silly... <laughs> silly... Silly race. Well, I might not have quite been able to win. But we had a lot of fun in in not winning. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And, of course, a big thank you to Reese for building the map. Until next time, though, a goodbye.